Good evening, and thank you. Can you hear me okay? Great. I also would like to thank the uh, Sports Hall of Fame Committee for this uh, great honor this evening, and also the City of Bristol. I don't think any of this comes together without the support of the entire city, so thank you very much. I would also like to extend my congratulations tonight to the other inductees. Uh, great job, great performances, great people. Congratulations to each of you. Some quick introductions. Please really hold your applause because I'm going to try to be very brief. Uh, my family, my wife Ann, my sons Michael and Jordan. Stand up, please. Thank you. My mom and dad, Mr. and Mrs. Bates, Coach Bates. My grandmother, Florence Oaks. You need some more coffee? Okay. My sister Lori and her family. My in-laws Mike and Joan Genova and my sister-in-law Tanti, Beth. Uh, and two very special people in our lives that I consider family, Speck and Mary Jane Monaco. Where's Speck and Mary Jane? This event for me is all about recognizing others. We all have impact and special people in our lives, and I would like to spend the majority of my time recognizing those folks for what they meant to me. It's very important to me that these individuals know that I remember the impact they had on me and on my career and on my life, and that I haven't forgotten that and never will. Obviously, I can't name every teammate, every coach, every individual person that I've interacted with that's been special to me, but I certainly would be remiss if I didn't mention those key people. First, I want to mention Paul McGinney. When I was young, all I ever wanted to do was play catch, throw the ball around in the yard. Paul was always the one there willing to throw the ball with me. I don't think Paul's here tonight but I thank him for that. We used to play pitcher and catcher and call balls and strikes, and we never walked anyone in about 12 years. Where's Mr. McGinney? Mr. McGinney, I owe you an apology. Mr. McGinney used to take us out and play ball quite a bit. And what happened every time you'd take us out and play ball? I would get hurt. And seriously hurt on a couple of occasions. Now, if you know Mr. McGinney, you know he's not the most calm individual that you've ever met, especially around blood. Every time he'd take us out, I would get injured. And though he's not the most calm individual, I think the worst thing about it was he always had to bring me home and then explain to my dad, also not the most calm individual, what had happened. So my apologies. Please tell Paul that I mentioned him this evening. Some other special people, Tommy Roberts, Steve Clark, Speck Monaco, again. Many summer hours trying to improve our baseball game at the local parks. A lot of hot summer hours. You can't do that on your own, especially in the game of baseball. These guys were always there. None of us develops, none of us improves without the support of others, and I, and I thank those gentlemen uh, from the bottom of my heart. Coaches, uh, I lucked out in this area. Many of the coaches I've had are Hall of Fame coaches. That doesn't mean if they're not Hall of Fame coaches, they didn't have great impact. I was very lucky in this area. Mr. Watson here, I know he's here somewhere. My little league coach, a tremendous individual, supported his team and his kids better than anyone I ever saw at that level. Led us to an undefeated season my, my final year, I believe the first one in city history. I don't know if there was another one. And Mr. Watson, I, I hope, I just wanted to let you know this evening that the jacket you gave me when I was 10 years old, my blue Dodger jacket, still hangs in my closet. I appreciate your support.
I mentioned my wife earlier, and I skipped one little note. Happy anniversary tomorrow, number 22. <laughs> Mr. Givinazzo at Eastern High School. Mr. Givinazzo played for my dad. I think we both learned Bates time from my dad. Bates time means if you're on time, you're very late. You need to be there early. Mr. Givinazzo and I, when I was playing for him, we used to battle to see who could get to the practice before one another. I'm not sure if you ever beat me, but I respected you for giving it a try. <laughs> a summer coach and my Legion coach my last year, Mr. Don Titus. I saw Mr. Titus earlier. Mr. Titus in the room. You should have cut me twice, <laughs> but you didn't. I appreciated you keeping me around when I was very young. I may not have belonged, but I gave you everything I had, and I always appreciated the fact that you were such a great fundamental baseball coach. Thank you very much. I had a few things to say to Mr. Sinnott tonight. He used to tease me all the time about being a Yankee fan since he was a Red Sox fan. But uh, about a month ago, all of my thoughts went out the window, didn't they? <laughs> Mr. Sinnott, thank you for your support as well. Some special people. Again, I'm lucky. Many of them Hall of Famers that impacted my life. You heard Dr. Hooley mention several times, Dr. Hooley treated me like one of his own sons. I remember the Texas breakfast he used to have me over for, and all the times he worked on the various injuries that I had. Uh, my thoughts and prayers are, are with Dr. Gohuli. They don't come any better. I mentioned this individual a couple of times, Speck Monaco, great friend of mine, known Speck since Little League, used to be the Bat Boys together with the Legion team. Difficult to talk about spec. My brother, my friend, friend of our family, I just want you to know that you've got all my admiration and respect. And if the parents, if there's parents in the room, if you want to do one great thing for your kids, you find them a friend like spec Monaco. Thank you, spec. the greatest man I, I ever knew, or probably ever will know, my grandfather, Tommy Cross. I miss you. I knew that'd be the toughest part tonight. Thank you. There's one other coach I didn't mention earlier that had a little bit of an impact in my life. Any guesses? Uh, that, of course, is uh, my dad, the coach, Jim Bates. <laughs> How was it possible to, to talk about this man and, and his impact in my life? Uh, it really isn't possible, um, and you certainly wanna, wouldn't want to sit through it all. I will say that every year you can come to this dinner and you will hear people mention his name. Those are the impact people, folks, the folks that, that you hear mentioned time after time that help people succeed and, and get to places in their life that they never dreamed they could. The hours put in, the discipline, the preparation, he still prepares and he's not even coaching anymore. The three Ds, I remember, I appreciate it, I, I simply, can't thank you uh, enough for what you did for me. Though I am not technically a junior, I couldn't be more proud to be called Jim Bates Jr. Thank you. <laughs> to my mom and dad, I love you both and I thank you both. In closing, I just want to mention to me the accomplishment of mine, the only one I really want to mention, uh, the only one that really matters. And that's my two sons, Michael and Jordan.
You've been... You've made us very proud. You are outstanding young men. And I know you know this, but I'll say it anyway. There's no honor I could ever receive that could compete with the honor of being your dad. Thank you very much. The next inductee tonight is Harry M. Peters, Jr.